Happy Friday! Hi everyone! Welcome to another Friday Sews! Mm -hmm. If you're new here, I'm Grace. If you're returning, welcome back! On today's Friday Sews, I'm going to be doing a Joanne fabric haul. I got a lot of fabric and I'm matching patterns to fabric. Then after the haul, I'm going to show you this top I'm wearing. It's Simplicity 9679. I'm, I'm going to model View B, the sleeveless top, and I have a skirt to go with it. It's Simplicity 9608. This skirt with the buttons on each side that I'm going to model for you after the fabric haul. I'm also going to share with you my dinner table. I entertained some family from Denmark this week and I had a beautiful layout on the table and I'm going to show you that and then I'll give you a quick really quick update on my what's left of my garden and that's my video today so I hope you stick around for all that but first let's get to the fabric haul so one morning last week Tom and I went to Ocala, Florida. That's where my local Joann's is. It's almost 30 miles away. And we decided to go shopping. We we're going to have breakfast, then go to Joann's, go to Walmart, and then come home just, just to get out. And I got a lot of fabric that day, and Tom picked out some too. So let's start out with this fabric, this marbled knit rib knit. This has been out, I think, last fall. I saw it there, but I never picked it up. But I just thought it was interesting. It has specks of black throughout. It's kind of like a creamy rust peach. I can't even describe the color. But I matched it up with this pattern that I, you know, made this from. This one, 9679, the one the model's wearing. And Martika J makes, and Shatuka J made this top. And they said it was so easy, and this was easy. So I figured, hey, for the winter, I could wear this. And here are the line drawings for the pattern. So I'm really excited for this fabric. It's nice and heavy, but it's beautiful. So let's go on to the next fabric. This one was a 70% off clearance fabric. It's a zebra abstract crinkle. It's just, it has texture. It's so interesting and exciting. I had to get it. It's unique. Look at that. It's like a 3D kind of fabric here very dimensional and immediately that came to mind immediately one of my older patterns it's this quick sew pattern 3691 I want to make this one with the cowl neck and then the belt I can make I just love this pattern perfect for that fabric it calls for shally silkies um, but I really think it would work for this fabric I really do I'm gonna try it out and here's a simple line drawing. It's very simple. I don't know if you can still get this pattern. I have a sew along for this view that I've made many, many times on my channel. And you can look that up. Uh, Quick Sew 3691 for this fabric. I love it. Absolutely love it. I think it's going to be exciting. And the next fabric, ooh, this Ponty Snakeskin. It's like a peach and white, almost like a pink peach. I'm not sure exactly, but it's a snake skin. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? And it's very heavy, it's not an ITY, it's definitely a Ponty. And the pattern that I thought of immediately for that was this Mimi G. I love Mimi G. I love her instructions, I love her solongs. And this one's 9701. I like the shorter one, and of course, I would make short sleeves here. I'm not into three-quarter for this or the long. And uh, this is rated as very easy. Look at that, very easy. I don't know if you can read that. And um, she has a sew long that I watched. It also has a lining, and I got this Trico. I didn't get this at Joann's, but this Trico lining, this white, beautiful mesh Trico, I got at Hobby Lobby. And you could get it in black and cream and white. So I'm going to use those two for that pattern. And then the next fabric I found there 
This was a clearance. It's a knit. It has two sides. It has a polka dotted side. It's gray and white. And then it has the striped. You know, either side could be the right side. Okay? It's a knit. Nice stretch. So you could use the striped side or you could use the polka dotted side for your mane. And what I thought of is this Simplicity 1358 pattern. And I like hers, the high-low. And what I was thinking, I ran it by Tom. Um, first, I, I always say, what do you think? And then I tell him what I think. And 99% of the time we match. But I was thinking of doing the outside and the polka dot and then the contrast for the the back would be the stripes going um, vertically up and down. And that's the pairing there. And this is the line drawings here. Uh, I think that would be great. So this is knit six made easy, all knit dresses. And I just thought those two together, with this fabric, very nice, very exciting. I just gotta have time to make all this stuff. And then, of course, when I go to Joann's, I always get a new look pattern, and I picked up this new look 6732. I absolutely love the sleeveless one here, and what's unique about it is the tie in the back and the V-back. I don't know if I've talked about this um, style before on my channel, but I really like it, and uh, I immediately thought of this pattern when I saw this fabric. Look at the silky retro orange, peach, pink, white, yellow. Oh wow, like Starburst. Beautiful. Just looks so sunny to me. And I just thought those two together, imagine that with this pattern. Wow, with V, the ruffle, and just the whole thing is just so cute. I think it's adorable. And then I got more patterns. The next one I got, I got a bag here. This was all Tom's picks because this is my tried and true. You've seen this on my channel. It's 6197. Of course, I've made the woman's top here. I made the sleeveless on, on my videos. And then I've made the men's multiple times for Tom and his brother. And he picked out his own fabric. He just went to a town. He went in there and I said, Tom, go pick out some fabrics. Now this one's for his brother. He's a Florida Gators fan. So I'll be making it out of this Gators fabric for Christmas. Absolutely stunning, bright. It was on sale. You can't beat that. $7.99 a yard for merchandise fabric. And then Tom picked out for him this compass. This compass fabric. It's black and it has these just beautiful, look like compass dials in blue and just a light lavender and yellow or not quite a yellow it's like a creamy but it's it's really interesting but definitely a great fabric the pressure's on I gotta get sewing for him I already have a map fabric cut up for him for that pattern and he's giving me more and more fabrics the next one he picked out was this one he picked it out mainly for the color but also it was interesting with these um, Let's see, is that upside down? The dragonflies, little yellow dragonflies, and then the moths, and just this whole patchwork-like pattern. I think it would look great on him. But he picked that out with no nudging from me. He also picked out this fabric with the airplanes. My husband's a pilot, so um, of course he's going to pick out something with an airplane on it. And it's just fun, okay? Just fun with the little path there and this says passport so that's another one he wants and finally the last one he picked out is this flamingo fabric i thought it was cute too blue and white for florida we do live in florida and i don't think they had enough for a matching top like aaron sews she did a flamingo top for her husband and herself and matching for that same pattern. So if I get more of this, maybe I'll make a matching top for myself. I also got this gorgeous silky fabric. Look at this, beautiful floral. Um, 
And I just thought, wow, when I saw it, I wanted to get this one. It was beautiful. It wasn't that cheap. I mean, it was a little pricey, 30% off, but I just loved it. And it's so funny because when I saw this, I immediately thought of this pattern, Mimi G Simplicity 8394. This two piece, this top with the tie front and the skirt with the slit in the front and the flounce. And look at the line drawings here. Very nice, very cute. So I'm definitely looking forward to following her so along and making this outfit. I absolutely love it. So that's my Joanne Fabric Haul. And next we made a quick stop to Walmart. And this was not the typical Walmart in my neighborhood. So I said, hmm, I'm gonna check the sewing section because I know Chalisa from So She Designs, she finds all kinds of treasures at her Joanne's, or I mean her Walmart. And uh, I did find one treasure. I'm so excited. I've been dying to find a fabric for Simplicity 9683. I've been dying to find a nice soft faux leather for this skirt that she's wearing. I bought this pattern a while ago. This is an easy. And there's the line drawings. And view A is the one I want. It's the long one, uh, mid calf with the little buckles here and the slit in the middle. And bingo, when I went into Walmart, I found it. I found it. Look at this. It's a burgundy color. I think it shows up red on your screen, but it's a burgundy. It has like these little pebble finish. I don't know if you can see the little pebble detail, but it looks like real leather. It's absolutely perfect. And, and they cut it in one piece and it came to uh, $25. And the girl gave me a little extra. She gave me what, two and a half yards and I only paid for two. So I'm excited about this. I've been dying to find a nice faux leather. So this is the inside of it, the texture of it here. It's just so soft. It feels almost like lambskin leather. And I just love it and I'm so thrilled. So that was my final fabric purchase of the day. I hope you enjoyed this. Awesome from Stitch Treasures sent me this beautiful tropical olive green fabric and I want to make Simplicity 9608 view C the skirt right here and I got all the pattern pieces they barely make it for size 14 um, so I have them all on the grain line but the casing if I have the casing on the you know following the grain line it's not going to fit but that doesn't matter because it's just going to be the elastic waistband but uh, I just want to give you a picture of this fabric Every inch is covered just about. So I'm glad I made it work. So now I'm going to go outside and model this top, the sleeveless for this pattern, 9679, and the skirt, Simplicity 9608, the short skirt with the eight buttons. I'm going to be wearing well, my wedges and I have another pair of sandals that I want to show you and I'll be modeling in both styles. So this top is wonderful because you can wear a bra with it. The strap is right here. Here's the cutout and this is where the strap goes. It's a very sunny day today. And you can see the cutout in the back. It's just, just enough, a little detail that's fun. And uh, I wear the skirt. It has little one, two, three, four buttons here with a placket. You don't undo that. You just slip it on and off through the elastic. The elastic waist is a two half inch elastic, two casings here. And uh, it's really cute. I wore these wet shoes that I love. I love wearing these shoes. beautiful. This is a great outfit for dinner or lunch. Really cute. Take off my shades. It's just such a beautiful day today. Sorry about the lawnmowers, but they're always going here in this neighborhood. <laughs> um, so. Move the 
camera. Hopefully you can see the whole outfit here. Great look. Got this rayon shelly or gauze. I think it's a gauze. And then this rib knit that I got at Hobby Lobby for a great combination. So I have another pair of shoes on for another look. These are slip on sandal mules that I like. They're olive green. They match the top and the skirt. So they're very comfortable and they have the square heel. So there's another one with the shirt. So that's another shoe to wear. Could also wear flats. But if the heel is comfortable, I'm going to wear a heel. Heels are always attractive and if they're comfortable, why not? So. I really like these shoes. Very stylish, very comfortable. So I hope you like this outfit. So I really like Simplicity 9679, this view. In my uh, fabric haul, you're gonna see fabric that I'm gonna match for view um, C. I'm going to do view C, what she's wearing, the long sleeve. Now, it looks like you can't wear a bra with it, but I still want to make it. But I really like the sleeveless, and I hope you do too. And I love this pattern, 9608, the skirt with the four buttons. I wanted to show you the fabric up close here. I got this from Osset from Stitch Treasure. She gifted me this beautiful Looks like a gauze fabric. This is what's left of it. It's uh, olive green and natural bone. It's just absolutely stunning. I don't know how she knows my style, but she really nailed it. And then this rib knit that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they do have more of the rib knit in various colors. I also want to give you a close-up of the shoes. The shoes I got, the second pair, were the quilted. These are quilted. See that? The olive green, very comfortable. It has a little pad here, and the square heel here gives it a lot of support and maximum comfort. And I like the square toe style. So that's one look that I like. And my, my wedges, I always wear. These are the wedges that I had in the, in the modeling of my outfit. They have like a crisscross here, and they're wonderful. So, I just wanted to give you a close-up of those shoes. And I wanted to show you the buttons on my skirt. I got these on Amazon. Got a nice little bag here. So, I love these buttons for the skirt. And now, I want to show you how I decorated the dinner table for my family from Denmark. Hello, Summer. This is my lemon table. Look at this. I got my candles lit. I got my lemon napkins that I got at Amazon. And look at these plates. This little plate, I got a Dollar Tree. And the glass dish, Dollar Tree. Such a beautiful setup with the lemon theme. This tablecloth I got at Amazon. And of course, the silverware is from our wedding uh, as a wedding gift. It's our uh, what we use for the holidays and for company. And the place setting, the placemat, I think I got it at Ross, the whole set. And let's see, I got my wine glasses. That was a gift from my aunt. I have more, but I just put four out for uh, four adults. I got my little ice bucket. I'm gonna put ice in there. Shrimp roll, yummy shrimp ring, whatever you call it. And I got my snacks here. And these are like fig, fig raisin crackers. And my favorite Genoa salami bites with wheat crackers. And then I have 
the little salad dish that is from Dollar Tree and this big dish is from Dollar Tree I'm gonna put the we're gonna have guess that guess what lemon chicken put the chicken on there and I have a bowl that I didn't put on the table yet and uh, so this is my setup for tonight they're gonna be here I gotta start cooking oh and I got some wine this is a Pappy brand I really like this is Merlot I like Merlot. That's actually my favorite. And then this is a pink Moscato. You can put ice in it. It's very refreshing. I also have Lemoncello. We're going to have Prosecco. I have some Riesling. So we're going to have quite a great evening. And from here, out this window, you can see my pool. I don't know if you can see it out here. There's the lanai. And the ceiling fans are going getting ready for them to arrive. So, I'm very excited. So I'm making my lemon chicken. There it is, in the pan. Doesn't it look pretty? Another pan here, because there's five of us. This is the lemon butter sauce that I'm gonna put on the angel hair. And look, the pot of water is boiling. I went to Walmart, got my great value. I'm gonna make a whole box of this and we'll be all set. And I got my garlic toast here and Tom has the tropical music playing under the boardwalk down by the sea. Well, that's a fun. I'm gonna have also Arizona sweet tea and some unsweetened tea here. And I got a box of Italian cookies. It's gonna be a great dinner. Just some tropical music for the party. Love it. And for dessert, we have this chocolate caramel cake. Mmm, that looks delicious. And a lemon cake, my favorite. This is the last of my garden, my pepper plants. But it looks like I got a couple. Look at these red ones here. Look at that. Pick this. Beautiful. Beautiful chili pepper. Oh, dropped it. Nice chili pepper. And I got a jalapeno here. Nice jalapeno pepper. So those are coming in. My big peppers, I don't see anything yet. I do see some flowers, but that's all I got left in my garden. Till next time. While well, hosting and entertaining my family, well, Tom's family on his side from Denmark was a lot of fun. And as you can see, my garden is at the end. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my fabric selections and how I match patterns to fabric. And most of all, I hope you were so inspired. Have a great week.